Amanda Bynes was once a beloved child star who captivated audiences with her infectious energy and comedic timing. But as she got older, her journey in the entertainment industry took a tumultuous turn that resulted in the derailment of her career and deterioration of her mental health. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the rise and fall of Amanda Bynes, with a focus on the unfortunate struggles of mental health that she has faced. Amanda's early career in the entertainment industry was marked with success. Like the first thing I want to talk about on whatever, it's like a bad boy at my school named Alex Rowan now. Oh no. She was a talented actress and comedian, earning her own show at the young age of 13. However, her time in the industry also exposed her to the dark side of Hollywood. Bynes was reportedly a victim of Dan Schneider, a producer who has been accused of predatory behavior towards child actors. Surviving Dan Schneider is an unfortunate experience that Bynes and other actors have had to endure. This is the executive producer of The Amanda Show, Dan Schneider. Thank you to Nickelodeon. Um, thank you to Dan Schneider. Dan, we love you. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, Nickelodeon. Thank you, Dan Schneider. It's hard to put into words what Dan has done for all of us. I want to thank Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider. He's the guy behind some of the greatest shows on Nickelodeon. His name is Dan Schneider. If you watch Dan Schneider's work, it is completely impossible to escape the notion of feet. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. There's just feet everywhere. Hey, Dan Schneider, look what you've done to me. I suggest you check out this video of the entire situation with Dan Schneider made by BJ Investigates. Skipping forward throughout her career, Bynes faced multiple legal issues that were widely publicized. She was previously checked into a hospital for after citations for DUI and a 5150 psychiatric hold. possession of marijuana, tampering with physical evidence and reckless endangerment. After police claim she threw a bong out of her 36 story apartment window in New York late Thursday night. The NYPD denies Bynes' claim of sexual harassment, but are investigating the matter. It's going to be difficult for her to prove that. One, her credibility is shot, given her erratic behavior and given all the steps that led up to this occurrence. Bynes set fire to a person's driveway, resulting in her arrest. She was also involved in numerous car crashes and DUI claims, despite her father and herself insisting at the time that she does not drink alcohol. Amanda Bynes, the troubles keep piling up ordered into psychiatric testing after starting a fire in a neighbor's driveway. ABC's Abby Boudreau has more on the bizarre stunt that put Bynes in the hospital. What is the address of your emergency? Amanda Bynes making headlines once again, and now she's forced to undergo a mandatory mental health evaluation. Dan, what's on fire? It's, uh, the, it's like a small piece of cloth and, uh, and a, a gasoline tank. Witnesses say the former child star wearing a blonde wig set fire to this driveway in Southern California Monday night. Yeah, I saw this girl laying down right here with her left pant leg on fire. When I look at her, I'm like, it's Amanda Bynes. She was like really frantic, like she wanted to get out of there. And she's like, my dog, you know, has been burnt. He says Bynes tried hailing a cab to get away. I was like, don't take her. I don't know what's going on with her at all. Like, do not let her. These events were caused by her mental health struggles, which were not properly addressed at the time, as well as her addiction struggles. Bynes' behavior became increasingly erratic as the press stated. She tried to change her image and retire from acting in 2010. However, this did not last long. As she continued to act in various films and TV shows, her infamous mugshot from a DUI arrest in 2012 became widely circulated and discussed. She continued to have trouble with the law, including driving with a suspended license, smoking substances before driving, and being kicked out of a gym for her behavior and allegedly wearing lingerie. Bynes also walked around a tanning salon naked allegedly which garnered significant media attention. Now for the ridiculous, tonight we're adding someone named Amanda Bynes. Now, if you don't know who she is, join the club. She apparently used to be on Nickelodeon, then was in the movie Hairspray and some other movies that you've probably never heard of. Ms. Bynes, which rhymes with fines, as in fines and jail time, was arrested in California this spring for allegedly driving under the influence and sideswiping a police car. That is her mugshot. Like any sensible quasi-celebrity, she is taken to Twitter to defend herself. Whom did she tweet, you might ask? 
Who does she believe should be focusing on her situation? None other than the President of the United States. That's right. Hey, Barack Obama, wrote the star of She's the Man in Charlotte's Web 2. I don't drink. Please fire the cop who arrested me. I also don't hit and run. The end. The end. Much like the end to her acting career. In addition to her legal troubles, Bynes struggled with her mental health. She was put under a 5150 involuntary hold in July 2013, similar to Britney Spears' conservatorship. Bynes' family was granted conservatorship over her affairs and finances, which they hoped would provide her with the support she needed to manage her mental health struggles. Today I want to talk about a controversial topic my conservatorship case. I have been going to a treatment center that charges 5,200 a month. There's no reason why I shouldn't go to a therapist who takes my insurance for $5,000 less a month. This is why I've asked to see the judge next week regarding this conservatorship issue. Thank you guys so much for hearing me out. I'm sorry that this is what I'm dealing with and I'm sorry to put my problems onto the internet, but this is what life has come to. So thank you guys so much for always supporting me. Love you all, peace out. Your More recently, Bynes made headlines once again due to her troubled relationship with her boyfriend and alleged drug abuse. She released videos detailing arguments and struggles she faced with her personal life. The public was once again reminded of the struggles that she has faced and the unfortunate impact the entertainment industry has led on, on her April life. On April 27th, Amanda and her fiancé had an argument that was made public and resulted in the police being called to their home. Michael called the police around 2.30 a.m. and alleged that Bynes had taken some of his Adderall pills. Early the following morning, Bynes posted a video on her Instagram story where she claimed Paul told me that he stopped taking his medications. I looked at his phone and he was looking at mom and son. He vandalized his mom's home. He broke all of her pictures and put salmon under her bed. His behavior is alarming and I'm afraid of what he'll do. I forgot to mention, I found Paul's stash of crap. He's been using for the past six months. He needs serious help. I kicked him out of my house. But Michael took to his own Instagram account soon after saying he did not know what the F she was talking about. In wake of the incident, Amanda issued a public apology to her fiance. Correction, Paul looked up MILFs. Moms and sons just popped up. Also, I went to CVS, modern test. Paul tested clean. Paul's clean. Also, I had something in my taking city. In early July of 2022, Page Six reported that Bynes and Michael had broken off their engagement. The pair, however, remained in a relationship. And now in recent news, as of March 2023, a more detailed account of Amanda Bynes' recent struggles, which have left her vulnerable and alone, have been documented. The actress was found wandering the streets of Los Angeles, disoriented and without clothes telling a concerned driver that she was coming down from a psychotic episode. This shocking incident has sparked renewed concern for Amanda's mental health, as well as her overall well-being. With a history of mental health issues, substance abuse, and legal troubles, Amanda's fans and loved ones are understandably worried about her future. It's truly heartbreaking to hear about this recent story with Amanda Bynes and the hospitalization. This all led to her being placed on a 5150 psychiatric hold, where mental health professionals could assess her condition and provide her necessary care. It's to be stated that she was the one who wanted to go by herself, as the story claims that she flagged down the driver herself and made the 911 call on her own. This incident is a reminder that mental health and mental illness is a serious issue that requires attention and care, and we must approach it with compassion and understanding. It's our hope that Amanda receives the help she needs and that she continues to receive support and love from those around her. Amanda Bynes' story is a tragic reminder of the struggles that many individuals face when dealing with mental health issues. It's also a cautionary tale of the impact that the entertainment industry can have on one person's life, especially when exposed to predatory behavior. It's important to approach her story with empathy and compassion, recognizing that her experiences are not unique to her and that mental health struggles can affect anyone. By sharing her story and raising awareness, these issues we can work towards creating a more understanding and supportive society for those who are struggling. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, there are resources available to help. You can reach out to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI, 
or visit their website at nami.org. Remember, it's okay to not be okay. You're not alone. Thank you for watching. I do these videos all the time. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Thank you guys so much for your support. The fact that you've been rooting for me for years means more than you know. Thank you guys so much for hearing me out. I'm sorry that this is what I'm dealing with and I'm sorry to put my problems onto the internet, but this is what life has come to. So thank you guys so much for always supporting me. Love you all. Peace out. Appreciate your love and support. Love you guys. Bye.